What is going on guys? DBG here and this is the hidden locker code that 2K gave to creators today. So, lads, I'm super typing in that one. Getting that one there, get that one free token, which is kind of worthless. But there is a locker code right now. And people have been like watching all the creator streams, waiting for the locker code. I, re I knew it last week that like, after last week, there's no point sitting in these streams. If you want to watch the creators, go ahead. Like if you want to watch these guys, go ahead. They're all great streamers. But at the end of the day, like this locker code, it's not a limited time locker code. So and you're not going to be at any sort of a disadvantage if you don't really watch the streams. So, the locker code is this. It's K Z M 994 dash PNK I'm pretty sure the um 997 or DC or DC nine nine or nine eight eight so this is what the locker code is um i'm pretty confident that there was some the mystery was the mystery wasn't for tyler because this is what the mystery was here so if you guys are looking at the screen right now so basically everyone had a the mystery was there was just a gap there so kzm99 was actually KZM 994. So, I think one of them was Red City, one of them was Pretty Loves Pink, and the other one was Kills Amoy. Again, I'm not entirely sure what way the codes were with um, with the other people, whether it was this was given out, I just saw the final code. So, um, yeah, basically, that is what it was. It was like, the secret wasn't anything to do with Tyloo, the secret was there were question marks, and... Um, People were eventually giving out the code. Or maybe it was, but uh, basically this is the code. Obviously, it's already been unlocked or redeemed because we have it right here. What is the locker code? The locker code is for a Manu Ginobili, a Dominique Wilkins, a Grant Hill, a Kevin Durant, or a Magic Johnson. All right. So, who do I want? Who do we want here? We don't want Neek. Or we don't want Manu. So... There is a 95% chance that we get Neek or Manu. If you guys know anything, or actually no, sorry. There's a 95% chance if we aim for Magic Johnson or Kevin Durant, which are bottom left or right. If you guys know anything about this board, you know it's a near impossibility to get into either of those bottom corners. So I'm going to aim for Kevin Durant. The scary thing is that we're going to get Manu Ginobili. And I missed completely, which is which actually puts us in a better shape because we might actually get Grant Hill. We got, we got Hill. We got, we got hill. We got hill. I think. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse, I guess. So, let's go and open this card here. This is not as good as the Easter Locker Code. This is by no means. By no means as good as the Easter Locker Code, lads. Like, the Easter Code, you were, you were getting a Zach... You could get a Zach Levine or a Paul George. Both of those cards were really, really good. But the one thing is that... I mean, you can't even post with Magic Johnson anymore. So, obviously, these cards aren't worth anything anymore. I just want to see what price they're going for. He's like, I might. I honestly, if these are like 25k, I might lock in Weber. For 25k, I'm locking in Weber. So, color pink diamond. So, I want to see what price I can snipe all these guys for. No. So, hey, let's look at... I, I, I went the wrong way. I went left and said right. Let's see what price these are. So Idol Series 1. Let's see what price these guys are. 15k. 13k, it's only Manu. Could I make 10k from selling Grand Hill? Man, everyone got their Manus out here. Do I lock in? I'm tempted. I'm actually tempted to lock in for Weber. He's not very good and is a better Chris Webber. I'm tempted to just lock in for him just for the sake of it. 8k for Manu. Okay, 7.4k. Let's see what we can snipe these at. 7.2k, 7k. I'll pay 5k for each of these. 
Play 6.4. I'll do that. I'll take a Manu for that because it might be the best version of Manu we get this year. And just there might be certain squad builders where I might need a Manu. So we need three more of these. Actually, I was about to say, I was like, Magic and KD are so rare. That's a really dumb thing that I did. But I think Manu might... These, these are going to go up in price. There is no way these stay down this low in price. Like Dominique went from like 80k, 30k. And like, let's see how many of him are packed. Because Dominique is a really common one as well that people are getting. 20k, 14k, 20k, 15k. I want to see because these ones are really difficult to get. How many of these ones were packed or were gotten in the locker code. So... Like, you, this show, this sums it up, doesn't it? The how hard it is to get to those bottom two spots. And there's, like, no Magic Johnsons. Like, Kevin Durant. Like, they put, they keep putting in things. that like They put the Diamond cons or the Hall of Fame badge. There's a lot more Kevin Durants. There's, like, no Magic Johnsons, though. A KD's a terrible price anyway at 30k. Why are there just so few Magics? That doesn't make sense at all. Like there are like infinite number of Kevin Durant's. So Kevin Durant's going for like 20k. Like if Magic, if Magic was 10k, Kevin Durant was 10k. And the other one's like 5k, I'd lock him forever. Okay, yeah, there's still like no Magic Johnsons. That's mental. That is absolutely mental. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is one of the better locker codes we've gotten. That is definitely, definitely one of the better locker codes we've gotten. And I reckon... I don't think it's as good as Easter. Because Easter, again, we had... Albeit Larry Nance was bad. We had some really good cards. Like, PG was good. And Levine was... Levine's still good. Like, I was still using Levine on my team up to this day. But, um... Ironically enough, like... Again, this Chris Webber card is worth about 15k right now. I was hoping... Just for the sake that I really like his card art. And it's a unique card. I would lock them in for in 25k. I stupidly bought Manu, again, 6k. I'm not going to make a lot. If I if I sit in these cards for three weeks, I'll make a profit. But, yeah. Because no one's buying Mike Johnson. He's still not worth 60k. He's still not worth 60k. I do like the code, though. Um, Again, I wouldn't be that hyped for the code, but it's still probably guaranteed 3 to 4k M free MT at least. So that's not bad at all. Like, three, like you can't complain about 3 to 4k. Like, that is not... That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm telling you, it is not bad at all. So, yeah, that is basically it, lads. That is the free guaranteed pink diamond locker code from creators. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.